Welcome to Swish, vintage finds for your sassy self. We hope you enjoy the videos and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Morning. Morning. Welcome to our Saturday favorites. We did the, the new sound effects last Saturday, so we can just skip that part. <laughs> So today is 36, it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yay, yay, yay. Good thing we have air conditioning. We do have air conditioning, so come visit us and mm -hmm. you won't get all sweaty. Uh, we were thinking, should we just close and like go find a beach somewhere? But <laughs> we're here. We're here. <laughs> so come make it worth our yes, while. Yeah, yes. there's so much new stuff. It's like so good. Bursting, yeah. bursting. So we pick things that are not really uh, hot weather specific, but people are already starting to think of fall and of uh, layering and mm -hmm. different things and stuff. So I'm gonna start just by talking a little wee bit about my kimono. Mm -hmm. This I featured, what, last Saturday? No, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday before, before, two Saturdays ago. And then I thought, hey, that's the problem of having the store is then I end up falling in love with pieces. Same with Natasha finding a velvet coat and some other oh, things yeah. yesterday. So um, this is a Japanese with the shibori uh, dyed uh, effect on it, which I really love. And this one obviously had been washed, which normally we get them in the store and we get them dry cleaned. But this one has that really soft kind of um, feel to it, the way that silk gets once it's actually washed. Like and in the machine, you mean? Yeah, I think it was or hand washed, just washed in general. Oh, okay. Um, as opposed to dry cleaned, where you have that stiff kind of feeling right. to it. And then I had Angela do some changes to it, so she shortened it. It's hard to tell with the way that we've got this going on today. And then she put a big snap here for it, so you can just snap it here as a coat, mm -hmm. and then also pockets. Yay. I absolutely am so in love with this um, piece and I do have lots of kimonos and they're one of the easiest easiest things to just throw on and Natasha and I talk a lot about cost per wear mm -hmm. and you know these are not they're not cheap to um, have and then have altered because to do the pockets I think was $40 but Angela did it by hand and they're lined in silk. They're insane. Nice which $40 is a really good price. You, you wouldn't hesitate to do that, you know, for a pedicure or whatever, let alone right. a permanent piece. Then she hand uh, did it, did the hem, <clears throat> and then of course the snap. So you could wear this as an evening coat, mm -hmm. uh, everyday coat, a robe, like loungewear. Did she make a belt? She did make a belt for it out of the extra, but I, I'm not, I probably won't really use the belt. Well, that's not really get your style. Yeah, but anyways. So I'm going to just show you a kimono that we have here. So our friend Yoko that uh, is Japanese, uh, when she was in Kyoto, she said they would just be like piles and piles. I mentioned that yesterday in our outfit of the day video. Oh, yes. And it's not about cultural appropriation. If you're wearing a kimono, I think that there's a lot of respect. Um, there's a way to actually close it too. That's, that's, that's the traditional way. You don't want to close it this way because that's how they do it when you've passed away. You want to make sure that you have it over this way. Anyhow, um, a lot of the young people in Japan are not as appreciative of the kimonos or wearing a bit more Western clothing. There's like a million kimonos in the world. So here's one of those millions. This one is silk and silk lined. Um, I was told a long time ago that this little bit on the back is the family crest, but I'm not really sure. I have to do a bit more investigation. So this one, you know, if you wanted to go to, you know, we get so many people that want to go to 20s flapper parties mm -hmm. or something. And back in the day, kimonos in the 20s were such a popular piece. So you could do this with a wide leg pant, like that beautiful black silk wide leg pant we showed last Saturday that sold. You know, this is just stunning. So if you plan ahead and you think, okay, I'm gonna have a kimono, I'm gonna shorten it, I'm gonna, you know, whatever. This one, you could just cut the whole pattern part off the bottom and then use that as a big sash or do something else with right. it. This is amazing. This is 250, silk and silk lined, and was just dry cleaned. Now, 
last Sunday we had a, a gal in that brought a whole bunch of pieces. I've never in my life met anybody who owns so many sequined, feathered, fur, jeweled, beaded. Mm. Oh my gosh. After our own heart, right? Right. <laughs> so this piece is really, really be beautiful. Again, you could do a 20s theme look with this, or you could just wear it over a pair of jeans with a black tank top or um, you know, as some kind of an evening coat over a black cocktail dress. Yes. You know, you yep. could do tons with this. Again, with a black wide leg pant or, yeah. So this is uh, $98. It is a little bit on the small side, the shoulders here. Sorry. <laughs> just for the oh. record, I'm oh. just, I always, She's always tired. yeah, I'm always yeah. tired and I always yawn. It's not because Angela's yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> putting her to sleep there wake me up before you go go yeah so anyways I love this piece this is all the gold metallic threads I'm just used to her yawning so I don't yeah, really yeah. pay too much attention to <laughs> this is another great piece this is a uh, Donna Karen look at that yeah disco you know and it just inspired. elevates every day mm -hmm. pair of jeans and this Yesterday I was wearing a, a kimono, a different kimono, and I had to do all this running around, even at the pet food place. They're like, oh, I love that, that's so great. Well, it's no more difficult to throw this on than it is to throw on a cardi or a right. jean jacket. Yeah. <laughs> this is a medium, $52. So these are not um, as wide-legged as those pants that we showed last week, but these are fantastic. These are a wool, crepe I believe well they've got a little bit of a stretch in them and this is that German designer Annette Gortz mm. uh, so this would have been from probably blues these are a size 12 and these are 140 but these have got a nice width mm -hmm. to them here I think they're lined too anyways they're really nice pants and last but not least what yeah. This piece you could wear, I don't know, you could just rock this anywhere and, and everywhere for this fall. This um, is from, this is an old Divine Decadence label. So as you know, Divine Decadence is a vintage shop here in the city and uh, he had his own label. This is really great. The lady said she bought it like a bazillion years ago, 80s, 90s. Uh, it's 160, it fits a medium large, and this is really heavy and stunning. We had, mm -hmm. uh, somebody came and tried it on the other day, it's just so perfect. It was probably originally a men's evening tuxedo, because it's got men's kind of sizing on it. Um, I think it's a, well, it says it's a medium 15, 15 and a half, which normally that's <clears throat> the men's um, neck measurement, but it's, it's probably more of a, what, an eight? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I didn't try it on, but eight. that girl that tried yeah. it on, I think. Anyways, this is so stunning. And I don't think that you can look at that. You can get the full effect through like a video or a photo because I, I took photos of it and posted it and I just like you can't because it's so it's Extra. so good. You have to see it in person. Yeah. So you know, you could just <clears throat> go to Costco. Mm-hmm. You know throw this on same with kimonos you could just have like active wear sort of underneath yes. if you had pink like pink say with this one remember i got those pink i did get pink oh. sweats and you know platform sneakers yeah or like so those lug awesome. sole boots like mm -hmm. very cool okay i okay. guess it's my turn uh, the first piece i'm going to show is the one that's underneath everything uh, this also came from the sequin lady, and uh, it's so interesting. So this is a, a full maxi skirt, and it's this kind of mesh uh, fabric, and it's got this really good flow on the bottom, but it has these really interesting, almost like leaf appliques. That's kind of the vibe I get. Um, and she said she also wore it as a strapless dress back in the, oh, yeah. 100% you could. Yeah. That'd be very kind of 90s look and you could belt it and uh, you could even put like a black turtleneck underneath or something, oh, right? Uh, this has a 29 inch waist and is 75. Beautiful. And then 
It just thing. shimmers. Okay, I know I've shown this top before, but this is one of those pieces that Andrea and I are like, what? Did you call me Andrea? No, I said Angela. Oh. I just kind of like mumbled. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, Angela and I say, why is it still here? This is an uh, Izumiyaki, like 90s. And like, as I'm holding it up, I know it doesn't look like much, but when you put it on, it's so great because you can wear it open like this, like I've said before, with like a bandeau, or you can wear it like this. Backwards. And uh, that it's got like these two kind of textures and it's really just really interesting. So, and as you know, Isimiyaki just passed away last week at the age of, I think he was 84. Um, so this will be the final year for his hands-on kind of collection. Yeah, so this is even more special, like to say you owned it and like a, a piece that he actually... This is part of the Pleats Please collection, I believe, yeah. Uh, 220 and it's about a small medium, like it's stretchy, right? Next, I'm gonna show you this piece, which I super, super love. So. We often get people coming in, and this kind of ties into what Angela was saying, um, we, get, we often get people coming in looking for 1920s inspired pieces, and we don't usually have a whole lot because, or they're looking for real 1920s, which, you know, we don't have. Um, we happen to have a handful of 20s inspired pieces right now, including this, which has that fringe that everyone is always after, and it's... Um, got some sparkle and beading <clears throat> and what's great about this one is that it has that kind of contemporary shape that like a modern day woman wants because they don't usually want to wear just like a sack. This one has a little bit of a shape and it's got like a molded bust and I think this would just be such a bombshell. Stunning. Yeah and, and again you don't really see show up close that soutache like it's yes, all there's soutache in soutache. It. It's really the light is kind of weird but uh, it's so beautiful with a long strand of beads or a piece of fur and your little flapper kind of yes you know, um 38 31 38 for 250 i know it's a little bit early to be talking about new year's eve but this would also be a really great new year's eve dress yeah stunning next i have oh you are <laughs> okay <laughs> Sequins because we love sequins. This is showing up really great in this video. I love this jacket. Uh, this is like a black and silver sequin. This is by a contemporary brand called Mink Pink. It's a size medium large for 65 and again it's just like a bomber so this would replace your jean jacket. Uh, you could just throw this on with your your jeans or even yeah your active wear right? Yeah that would be great as, as something with active wear. Yeah you know, they're elevate. showing they're showing like a sweatpant with a yeah. bling like this out for a party or yeah right because people i think are still in like comfy mode but then they're also like how can i go on it up and yeah. then you do this and this is a little just um, don't wear crocs no oh my god no no we're not on the croc train like ever sorry no <laughs> this is a sarah Pacini. <laughs> um knit top and it's really really interesting and it has it's it hangs kind of awkward on the the hanger but it has this crisscross back you know what the tag actually i think says uh one size so you know it's probably like anywhere from a small to like large extra large depending on how oversized you want it to look but i think it's really interesting and this is a good layering piece like you can wear it on its own or you can put it um over top of maybe like a slip dress or something anyways i thought that was kind of a cute i love look. that yeah and oh <laughs> last piece i'm gonna show you i'm a mess today you can't see the floor so well you kind of can anyways another sequin this will go with your <gasps> kimono wow i should have worn that right mm -hmm. uh this is um, silk sequins, obviously small, medium for 75. And this is probably 70s, 70s disco days. Yeah, exactly. Can you imagine doing soul train or something in that or, oh, wow. Or yeah. The hustle. Do you know the steps to the hustle? You should show us. Hmm. No. <laughs> Where are we at? Okay. We're okay. Yeah. So those are my pieces and yeah, we have so much. 
The other Good thing job. is on Thursday, Natasha and I yes. are going to be live Woo. on YouTube. Well, on YouTube. So um, check us out because we're going to do some different styling things, and we'll obviously we'll post a link on on Instagram so that you can see us styling each other, kind of taking one piece and then showing different ways of wearing it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to that. It'll be fun. So come see us today, please. Yeah. <laughs> 12 to 5. Tomorrow, 12 to 4. Well, and, we're open 11 uh, to 5 today. Oh, right. <laughs> Where have I been? Yeah, 11 to 5 and then tomorrow, 12 to 4. Okay. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.